Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the Florida Hockey Now Panthers Morning Skate. I'm your host, George Richards. With me today, this morning, Colby D. Guy. Colby, the Florida Panthers uh, have a big one tonight. They're back home in Sunrise here at FLA Live Arena. You can see the Panthers uh, scratch guys getting some work in. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs are here. And Colby, um, the Panthers have 13 games left. They've already clinched a playoff spot. Um, they want to keep moving forward. I think games like tonight against a team like Toronto, a team that's won five straight games, really helps with that. The Florida Panthers know what they're going to get tonight out of Toronto. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they saw them play last night. Austin Matthews had a hat trick against Tampa Bay, and that kind of helped them cut the gap a little bit. If Florida loses, it's going to be a five-point gap. If they win, it's going to be a nine-point gap. So games like this are really important in getting on top of that division lead and keeping on going so you can get home ice throughout the playoffs. Yeah, the Florida Panthers are obviously going for the Atlantic Division lead. They're also atop the Eastern Conference standings, and they're right behind the Colorado Avalanche for top standings in the National Hockey League. So Panthers have a lot to play for in these final 13 games other than, you know, just trying to play a little better, try to be a little sharper. They've actually got some uh, some little prizes there waiting for them at the end of the year. They still have 13 games left, so a lot left to play for. Uh, no, no lineup changes according to Andrew Burnett. The Florida Panthers are going to come with the same lineup that they did Sunday in Buffalo. One change, Sergei Bobrovsky returns to net. Bob uh, was pulled after two periods in New Jersey the other night. He gave up six goals. Florida went into that third, down 6-2. Um, I thought it was a mercy pulling, Colby. I didn't, you know, I didn't think Bob was bad at all Saturday. Yeah, you look at those six goals and you say, oh my gosh, but they let him hang out to dry for that one. Yeah, I mean, there are a few of them where he could have made yeah, a save sure. there, but the coverage in front of him was bad. Like, I remember on, I believe, the second Sharon Govich goal in that game, Sharon Govich was lit wide open, and he had, like, two or three cracks at the wide open net. Well, I believe Sherratt or either, either Sherratt or Hag was supposed to cover him, someone with an eight on their jersey, and he was just left wide open. Somebody with an eight was supposed to cover him, so that's the kind of hard-hitting analysis right that you expect from floridahockeynow.com somebody with an eight it could have been claude Giroux, right colby no by by that analysis it could have been <laughs> no they, they did not have red hair <laughs> good point all right see now that's hard hitting analysis right there from floridahockeynow.com all right folks so that's going to do it for us you'll see us here at the post game here at fla live arena again Florida Panthers taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs, 7 o'clock. Uh, don't forget, hit subscribe here on the YouTube channel. You guys have been doing good on that, man. We're starting to get there. Uh, hit subscribe. We're going to do all that live stuff coming up. Come visit us at FloridaHockeyNow.com. Two stories up today already. Yesterday we had, what, three? Three, maybe four. We might have had four stories yesterday. I lose count because, you know, I'm not that bright. But, yeah, come on over to FloridaHockeyNow.com for all your Florida Panthers news, notes, and anecdotes. Uh, I'm George Richards, Colby Guy. We'll see you tonight for the postgame. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.